All right, what's up everybody? Another day, another video tour. So if you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Also, my name is Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. That's right, baby. So today we are here in the city of Henderson in the master plan community of Lake Las Vegas. We are going to be exploring this Del Webb age restricted community and this is the park lane which is collection number two now this is one of the most famous models that Pulte has to offer I would say probably this is number one or number two of their selling model here you have three different elevations to pick and choose from so the park lane here it is 2455 square feet three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a two-car garage. There's so many options and the features that you have with this builder. Here, you can actually do a full courtyard if you wanted to. You would pave all this in, okay? You have a nice eight-foot door, so let's go straight inside. Let's see what we got, because today is about 110 degrees here in Las Vegas. Let me shut this door here. All right, we're going to walk straight back. Now, what's included in this model? Typically, for the interior, you're going to get a 10-foot ceiling, 18 by 18 ceramic tile. In the wet areas, you're going to get 8-foot doors, dual pane three and a half inch on the baseboards. You're gonna get a hand texture skip trawl. You do have an option here for the island to have a waterfall. And you have many cabinets to pick and choose from. Definitely love this island, it's very huge here. Love the uh, toe kick too, I don't know if you guys can see that because all the sun's coming in. You got your wolf appliances now what's great about uh, this brand with wolf is that the warranty is excellent also these handles right here you guys can actually change these handles out believe it or not okay look at that 42 upper cabinets the double stack you got the Sub-Zero refrigerator. Dual basin sink. Let's take a look at the pantry here. So in this pantry, looks like they did some upgrades on the shelves. Decent size walk-in pantry for sure. Love this solid door. And take a look at these uh, pot drawers here as well. That's messed up, man. People just throw their trash in here. Dude, that's not even cool, dog. Now, with these drawers here right with the undermounted slides as you can see how far these actually slide out which is really nice versus the side glides soft closing cabinets obviously beautiful backsplash look at that range be careful with that range man turn it to high it'll suck you right up in it man that's how strong that thing is Got your dining. Oh, I love these. Look at these windows, right? Overlooking that lake there. Now, on this one, you have an orange peel texture. You have a tray ceiling with, looks like a six inch crown, LED lights. And I love this feature wall here. This is very easy to do. This is only th three, three by one inch ply 
that you could just add on here, which is kind of gives that dimension, that look. You got the upgraded baseboard six inch, straight edge, very large living room. And again, look at these windows here. And I love this feature wall here with this slate. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. And look at the trim around the window too. I mean, that's just attention to detail. I think this is like my favorite part of the home right here. Let's get another angle. It's like this is like such an open floor plan. Feels like we're missing stuff. We need more like stuff here. And I love how they sectioned that off right there for the dining room. Gives that elegant look. That's really cool. All right, let's head back here to the front. So you do have an option to do a tray ceiling as well. And all this stuff right here, you see this uh, one inch trim, right? This is something that you guys can do on your own, okay? All you need is a, a sawzall or, or a saw. I'm sorry, not a sawzall. And know how to measure. So let's take a look at this. What do we got here? We got a bedroom here, one bedroom here. Okay, closet, closet, then we have the bathroom. So let's take a look at this bathroom here. You do have an option to do uh, two sinks. If you have two bedrooms, you should have two sinks. Cabinets to match the kitchen. Again, you have that nice hardware. Undermounted sink. Like I said, I definitely would like to see a second one. Six inches on the backsplash here. And your zero threshold. Shower with the bench, herringbone. Now you do have an option to put a medicine cabinet. A lot of builders will give it to you. Uh, for me, uh, I probably don't want a medicine cabinet because it just looks like too much like of an apartment. So let's go to the first bedroom here. See what we have. This is a 11 by 11, I believe, on the bedroom, on the specs. If you guys want more information about this model, I will have a link in the description below with all the specs, HOAs, and all the information that you will need. Ooh, this fan is blowing. That's a Hudson, I bet. Ooh, we didn't talk about uh, fan blades for some time. If you get a fan, uh, just make sure if it's an LED, you got to understand that bubble goes out, you got to replace the fan. Also, believe it or not, you can do a couple configurations with the fans when you buy them. Number one, depending on the blade, how long the blade is, it's going to cover more square footage. But also you can have a smaller blade that has a stronger motor that pushes more downwind and draft because it's the way it's designed. And also how the blades are tinted, uh, tilted could give you more airflow too as well. Also the rod, you can do 6, 8, 12, 24 or even a 60 inch rod. So before you even buy that, make sure to know the measurements of the bedroom or the room that you're going to be putting a, a fan in. Okay. Walk-in closet. What you'll notice is all the rooms will have a smoke detector, but not a carbon monoxide detector. Now builders are starting to add it inside the main living areas, like the hallways and the living rooms, but not inside the bedrooms. Off to the left is our two-car garage. We have our alarm system, ADT. This won't be here. But for all you guys that just need to be aware, typically the builders will run a 24 
vault in here in the wall then your provider will come out here tr uh, trace to see where that wire is and then a poke hole and they'll tap into that 24 okay a lot of these systems now are wireless too as well okay you have your valet washer and dryer cabinets to match and it looks like your attic axis is right here which is really nice 42 upper cabinets and then you have your high countertops right here here's your den this could also be converted into a room uh, none of this would be here also this door wouldn't be here too as well Okay, this French door. So you have a lot of uh, options and configurations that you can do with this room alone, which is really nice. Got your half bath across the way here. Definitely would add some more light. For me, one light would not be enough. Now, this right here, I just love the fact that you can slide these open, but they're not true pocket doors. However, you still get that effect, but this is an additional cost. I think the last time that we did this with this builder was almost like twenty something thousand dollars. It's not cheap, folks, because of the engineering on it. Love that covered patio. Fireplace is definitely an upgrade. Then you have the pavers out here. But again, let's just take a look at that view. Soak it in just for a second. Let's just have a moment of silence. There you go. You got a Lennox air conditioning unit, 15 sear. Sear Air is the uh, contractors for this track. Let's go take a look at the master. You have a king size bed. Wow, I love that window right there. It's gorgeous. Wow, look at this. You have a double tray ceiling. That takes some time to put together because now you're going to have to use extra 2x4. You're going to bring it down an inch. Look at that. That's cool, huh? You got to frame all that out. That's definitely something you can appreciate. Looks like we have a barn door here. So we have 12 by 24 on the tile. As you can see, we have a zero threshold walk-in shower. Bench on the other side. Some nice tile work. And you have an upgrade option to do a rainfall shower. Here's your shower head. Got some nice cabinets here to match for sure. Now let's take a look at this. Wow, this is a pretty large closet, right? Not bad. I'm gonna plug it in, plug it again. Closets of Las Vegas. Contact Pat. That's right. Tell him I sent you. Say, hey, I was watching a video, and um, Chuck has told me to give you guys a call, Pat. Now hook it up. Stop playing. All right. So that's pretty much it for this home tour. Like I said, if you guys want more information about this property, just click on the link in the description below. I have all the information that you need. Also, if you guys don't have a realtor, we definitely would love the opportunity to earn your business and walk you through the whole process of the transaction, especially when it comes to new home builds. There's a lot of things that you're just not going to be aware of. We've done hundreds of these type of transactions, so this is second nature to us. Other than that, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.